I think you'll agree not all farms are created equal so some farms are beautiful farms you just want to build a house on high up on the hill and overlook your stuff some farms are cropland farms some farms are just you know small enough that they're close to town this farm's kind of unique okay now take a look it's about as ugly as it can be this time of year and also it's about as ugly as it can be with the corn in here but but there's a secret to this corn i don't know where the boundaries are here but I, i'm assuming it's all this here it's 151 acres uh i'm gonna put the uh a picture of an aerial right here okay so what this tells you is that this ground is good enough to plant corn on. Now where, where Cindy and I live, at our place, we don't have any land that's good enough to plant corn. Maybe an acre or two here and there. It's just beautiful rolling pasture land, which is great if you got horses. But this farm's kind of got it all. Now it's got this barn, needs some repair, you know, probably for, throw five or ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars at that barn. You got a real big barn that's in good shape. But if you take a look at these water towers, See that water tower right there? And then there's one right there. You are really close to town. What are you, two, three miles to town? So you just go on right out here, and then you're on 152, make a right, and you're right in town. Two miles, maybe. So the schools are right up there. Uh, stores are right up there. You got Walmart, Supercenter. You got everything. You got some beautiful little shops in downtown historic uh, Harrodsburg. But... <clears throat> There's no steep parts on this farm, no steep parts whatsoever. And all this land, it's just rolling. You could put this in alfalfa. You could put this just in plain grass. You could put this in corn. So you got income for corn and then build later. But if you want a place where you can go out and maybe piddle, you know, we always think about who's going to buy this farm. Well, maybe it's a person who's retiring and wants to just piddle. Maybe uh, you've got a few horses. You've got enough land here and enough privacy where you kind of have it all. It's going to look really gorgeous here in just a little while. I'd say just a few weeks, four, six, eight weeks, that corn's going to be up. It's going to be beautiful. Talk to Dan about the details on that. But anyway, it's a real nice place, real close to everything, enough rambling. Let me show you some more. But take a look at the neighbor so you can see exactly what your place could look like. All that green grass. We got tons of water here. If you're looking at this from California, you see we've got, we've got lush, we've got water, we got lush green grass. You know, we're fine. Okay, now I want to tell you about this. So not only is it close to town, but on this far side over here, and I don't know, I think it's right down there, uh, you've got a half a mile on the Salt River. So talk to Dan about the details, and I'll show you the, the aerial here. Uh, again, I don't know where the, where the lines are. There's a little corn crib there, and then there's that big barn in the back. Barn needs a little work, but it's in good shape, good enough to uh, work with. Okay, so you got good equipment storage or something for your horses. But can you imagine all this ground here looking like, looking like that, looking like the neighbor? Well, you can have it look like that. Or maybe you want to do some corn and, and some hay and that sort of thing. Again, you might have uh, alfalfa needs. So if it grows corn, most likely it'll grow alfalfa. Right to town, two miles. Great place, 151 acres. Call Dan right away. Phone number's there and come see how beautiful this part of Kentucky really is. Thanks for watching.